Hi everyone, I'm Jan from Sew It Online and we're going to talk today about making surgical masks on a serger. So they're a lot faster and of course they're more efficient because you're using a serger. Today I'm going to use the Baby Lock Celebrate. It's one of my favorite because it's the lowest price you can get the Jet Air threading and I couldn't have a serger without Jet Air threading. But any serger will do the job. I want you to pull yours out of your closet and get trying on it. So to make the mask, the pattern is, uh, you can click below and get the, get the pattern, okay? So I just cut out a whole bunch of them. So I, there's only two pieces to the whole pattern right here. Following me? So now one is what the hospitals have asked us for in masks is they want one side and a different side on the other side. So I need one, one side here and one side here. We are putting these with the nose. There's a little bit of wire right here, and they prefer the twist ties, the ties to be able to go around their necks. Some people are using elastic. You can make them how you choose to. I'm going to talk to you today about ties. So the first thing to do is I have just cut out my pieces. So I have them right sides together and cut two out. So all I'm going to do is to let my serger, and the joy of the serger is, is it's just letting me go right around that curve. Now don't stop. Let's just put the next piece on and keep on going. You don't have to come and cut or use scissors. Bring it around and let the knife cut it off. That will just be one last step for us if you're making assembly line purchases. But even going from um, from a shoulder seam to a shoulder seam, you can just go off and on and keep right going and cut in between. All I've done at this present moment is to make them one side of the mask. Now I am using four different types of fabric. The only reason for me doing it in four is I wanted you to see where the seams were to help you on a video purchase. I do not need a patchwork mask. I can have one color on one side and another color on the other side. We are suggesting you do with light and dark. This again, I'm only hoping that you can see a little bit better with uh, watching on a video. So the next thing I want to do is to finish all my sides. So I'm just going to go where you would have turned it under and turned it under. I'm just gonna go from one side and watch. Bring my other one right up here and keep, keep on going. And now down my other side. And maybe this is a little bit tighter, but maybe, yep, uh, look, it, I can get it right on in there. I'm really not cutting anything off. I'm sewing right along the edge. Now what the advantage of that by doing it on a serger is, so I've sewed my one side together, right? And I have sewn down here and along here just so those are finished edges on both pieces. That's all I've done. If you've done a mask with a regular sewing machine and you have this princess line seam going along here, you normally clip in there. Because if it's a serger, there's no reason to clip. It just sews it all so perfectly for you. So now what I have to do is put my two pieces together. The smartest way to do it is to put your lot, your seams right here at the top and maybe even stop at the top if you're more comfortable. Otherwise, I'm just gonna reach down here. You could put a pin in. It's really not necessary. So all I'm doing now is sewing from here right on up, right over the top and right on down. I personally wouldn't bother sewing without a serger, but I'm kind of spoiled. I've had one for years, so um, that's what it is. So all I did now was stitch right across there. Following me? So now what do I have to do? I have to stitch on the bottom edge. So now all I'm going to do is to come to the bottom edge. Same work. Keep your pieces together. Surged and finish. Your tensions are always, always perfect if you got a good serger. Okay, now the hospitals want some wire right across here. So if you look at these, 
These have got a piece of wire in there and we've done them with the serger. We've done them with the sewing machines to show everybody how to do them. There's a piece of wire caught in here. Well, wire's another story. You can use jewelry wire, twist ties. I took them out of a garbage bag and had plenty of twist ties. Um, you can use, I've opened up paper clips. So you can do whatever you personally want to do. But before I turn this in, right side out, on my serger stitch there, I'm just gonna insert that wire. And I hope you can see this, but I'm just inserting that wire right in that serger stitch. That's gonna stay right where it needs to be. Get it a little bit further. Are you able to see this now, I hope? So do you see, I'm just going right here and that's almost like a zigzag. So that's gonna hold that wire right there exactly where it needs to be. Now this one came out now because I'm trying to show you. Um, in the sewing one, we did a zigzag over it, but this serger wire is doing it for me. Okay, so my wire is in there absolutely perfect. So now all I have to do is to pull, pull it out right sides together to wrong sides together, to normal, so I can see it coming out there. Now look how fast that was made. So now the dilemma that we have is that there is two ways to make this finish. One is elastic. If you have quarter of an inch elastic, you can st string that through there and tighten it up and you are all done. So here's one, how sharp is that, right? If you don't have elastic, we're going to use anything about a quarter of an inch. Ribbon works well. I'll even have you make your own ties. I've used grain ribbon. I've used um, anything. You might have some seam binding from a long time ago, some quilt tape for a long time ago. We just need about a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch long piece, about one and one third long. One yard and one third. So let's just say 48 to 50 inches. So back to my little program here. Now what I've done, because they're, they were trying to now put on the ribbons instead of elastic, we've made this piece longer than our previous pattern. And the only reason for that, if we can get this now, see, make sure you can see this, is that I'm gonna turn this down and give it enough room there to be able to straight stitch to this down on my sewing machine so that I'm all finished. And it gives you a little bit more room to be able to put the cloth through there. Let me see if I got some pins here. Oh, good. I'm just trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So all that this is is turned under and turned down. So all I've done is given this little room here a little bit more room to be able to allow for the cord, the ribbon, and it's easier to twist through. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to go to my sewing machine and stitch from here to here and then come over here and do the exact same thing. Just come on up, string my cord through there, and I'm all done. Pretty incredible, isn't it? How fast we can do these little guys. And yet, people with their, uh, in all times, in all lives, need these things. Some people even at home with their immune systems can make these. And if you get into them, you're gonna find that you can make gifts and everything for people very, very easily. Okay, so can you see the serge stitch right here? I don't have to turn that under again, like you would on a regular one, you don't have to. So I've got a serge there and I've got a serge here. As Soon as I go back down here with the sewing machine, I am done with the mask 100%, except putting through my ribbons. So to make my ribbon now, I can do two different ways. I can, I probably got one here, let's see. Okay, so on this one, I put it through one side. If you noticed, it's surged, it's top stitched. 
So now all I have to do is to reach my loop turner. You may use a safety pin, whatever works for you. Just take a second and be patient to get it through. Okay, now all I gotta do, I put it through this one, leave it so it is attached at the top, and I'm going to bring it down my other side. Now watch it, it's gonna close right there, and I'm gonna pull it right through. I am done with my mask, 100%. My ribbon is here, it's two-sided, and I have a piece of string. You can use a shoelace, works good. They're about 45 inches. You can use a shoelace, you can use seam binding, you can use whatever you have. You can even take a strip of fabric, and I enlarge this again for a video, but you really want it to be about an inch and a quarter, and you're going to turn this in, turn this in and turn it over. And if you just stitch it, it will give you a finished seam to be able to go right across. And 45 inches right across your edge of your fabric from one side to the other is long enough. So in a more elaborate issue here, I'm gonna go turn here and I'm gonna turn this side. Then I'm gonna turn it again and run it down with a straight stitch, a zigzag, whatever is closer for you. And that will hold that twist tie real well. So if you've ran out of grow grain ribbon, if you ran out of your tricks, don't quit sewing. Keep making them and do them this way. It works just as well and it's very, very, very sturdy. Okay, so everyone's asking me, what are sergers, what are they for, which one do I buy? I'm getting so many responses or so many questions. I will tell you that Baby Lock has won out on sergers in my estimation. The reason why they won out is because they came out with jet air threading. So you no longer have to go and go through here and go through here and go through here to be able to thread a serger. They also have models that are more expensive than this one, but this one is one that I call the baby of the top of the line. It's got a lot of the top of the line features. It, to give you a price point, it's normally $27.99. It's on special right now for $999. That's pretty incredible for this quality of a serger. I've never seen them that low before. So there's another one here. This one's called the Vibrant. And I'm very, very pleased with this Vibrant. Even though it doesn't have jet air threading, it lets us open up to be able to get in there, to be able to see where we need to thread things. So this one is $7.99 and the special on it is $349. Now that's an unprecedented price. That is one that, wow. Along with that, we will give you the class on how to use it, but we are also including a course on what to do with sergers. In our Sew It Online program, we have a complete course on just sergers, how to make quilts, how to make um, ruffled skirts, how to do all the different presser feet, how to do everything. More than just a, a regular video on how to use it, what to use it for. That's a value of about $119 that is included in any one of these purchases. So if you are interested in one, we will make sure you know how to use it and you get going on all your different serger projects and treat yourself because you will not ever sew again without turning your serger on first. So back to the masks, we need them. We want everybody making masks. It's a great project. Get the kids making masks. Take them to the nursing homes, take them to uh, places where they can use them, where the kids can go in and give them to them, that they've made them. People who are failing with lung problems, they need one of these. So it's just something that you can make for others and it's a great project and it's a fun way to get playing on a serger. So on a serger, again, back to the mask, they're just plain simple. They're so much easier and you know what? It's so much less bulk right through here too. So some of you have sergers in your closets. I'm really, really hoping I'm, in, I'm getting you excited enough to get it out and to try it out and to get going. Remember, you can always do everything that I do on a serger you can do on a sewing machine. Take the same pattern, get to work, have some fun, enjoy your sewing. If you need us, email us. We'll be glad to help you out. Have fun sewing. Hope to see you soon.